I'm gonna be rebuilding Barcelona, but everything we do has got to be realistic. Impossible. That means I can't sign Leo Messi back to Barcelona. Holland to Barcelona? Well, that's unrealistic. We can't do that. This challenge might be my worst nightmare. We believe in you! We gotta take this team to a Champions League final and win it with only realistic transfers. Alright, so this is the squad we have for our first season with Barcelona. We can only make realistic signings, so rumours and transfers that are about to happen, some of them have been announced, so we might just make that a reality. Now, about player departures, one thing I think I am gonna do is sell Frankie de Jong. He's gonna be moving to Manchester United, apparently. Fabrizio thinks it's a about to happen, you know, Frankie de Jong to Manchester United, so I think we gotta put him on the transfer list. There you go, Frankie de Jong's on the transfer list. This one is gonna hurt, boys. Usman Dembele, we're gonna have to release him from his contract, because in real life, he's a free agent now, so we're taking the L on this one. Mama Dembele! Ay ay ay, the squad's gotten weaker already. Alright guys, some good news. Um, apparently, Barca are gonna sign Kessie and Christiansen. That's a couple of transfers we can make. It's gonna happen in real life, so it's realistic. And boy, are they transfers. We need a new CDM, because Busquets is aging. Kessie is legit perfect. Obviously, in real life, he's gonna be joining for free, but we're gonna dish out some cash. Alright, let's get this one out of the way. I think we could get this done in about 42 million or something, because his contract's expiring. 49 Nine and a half. We'll pay it. Now we gotta do the same thing for Christiansen. There is it's okay. This is the wrong Christiansen. Pretty sure it's Andreas Christiansen. Hopefully it is. There he is. 25 years old at Chelsea. We'll have to scout him. There you go. That's one signing done. Kessie at Barcelona. So Joe Busquets, you're gonna have to be put on the bench, mate, because I really think it's time to have Kessie in that position. Martin Braithwaite to Manchester City. I don't know if that's realistic, but Bars are trying to offload him in real life. So we'll do that. To. All right, we can now try and sign Christiansen. Okay, should be a very good deal because his contract's expiring. Maybe a swap deal with one of the centre backs we've got, like Clemor Longley. Like anyway, Bars are getting Christiansen for free, so let's offer Longley in this. Maybe try and get a deal, twelve million plus Longley. What are they gonna say? They're fine with it. Let's go. I, I think Chelsea are getting modded here because Longley is, is is a bit awful. He has to go, blood. Oh, finally, um, Titi's going. I think it's super unrealistic. A club as good as Dortmund want him. But I want him out of this club. He's gone. Out. He's fired. Ooh. Pedri de Real Madrid. is as unrealistic as it gets. Reject offer. And boys, we've just signed Andreas Christiansen. That is our centre-back position. Looking good. Okay, boys. I think Pique is going to be put on the in the reserves. Because I don't really think he's going to be that good for us. So I would rather have Araujo and Christiansen as my two starting centre-backs. Kessie in the team as well. I think Captain C. Right now, looking at this squad, probably Araujo. The next signing I want to make is that man, Robert Lewandowski. If you think this is unrealistic, well, it probably isn't. The only thing that's missing between this deal is a bit of money. I think Barca are 10, 20 million short of getting this deal done. Lewandowski is almost going on a strike. He's not going to go into training. Apparently, he just wants to leave Bayern. And he's literally said he wants to join Barcelona. So we're going to make this happen. But I think it'd be stupid to sign Lewandowski having the likes of Depay and Aubameyang in the club. So I'm going to put one of them through a swap deal. Yo, I don't even think we've got the money for Robert Lewandowski now that I think about it, because on FIFA he is expensive. Yo! We might have to legit wait a season before we can sign uh, Lewandowski. We've got a huge wage budget. Okay, maybe not. I adjusted my wage budget and now we're looking Gucci to sign Lewandowski. Alright, let's do this, boys. Let's do this. How much is this going to cost us? Maybe I put in Obama or Depay, two players that have been linked with the move out of Barcelona, because if Lewandowski is coming, having a Aubameyang is stupid for Barca, so I'm gonna put Aubameyang in this deal to see if I can just sweeten it at about 100 million as well. What's Bayern gonna say? Aubameyang going to Bayern. They want 147 million and Aubameyang. This is crazy. In real life, Barca are probably gonna get Lewandowski for virtually free. That's great. Not free. I mean, 40 million or something. That's not free. I'm sorry, but still a good deal, I guess. But we're getting him for 127 million plus Aubameyang. Let's just do this. Oh no. Frankie Dion, an offer from Real Madrid. 
I can't send him to Madrid. Please, hopefully we can get an offer from another club. Meanwhile, we have completed the signing of Robert Lewandowski. Let's go. I think it's been a very realistic window. Christiansen, Kessie and Lewandowski. The team's looking nice. Now we got to offload the likes of Frankie de Jong and other players we don't need. Oh, there you go. As realistic as it gets. Manchester United won Frankie de Jong. And I'm going to accept it. And Manchester City as well. I'll accept that as well. Let's see where Frankie de Jong will go. Comment down below. If you were Frankie de Jong, where would he go? Man City or Manchester United? I would pick Man City, but let's see what de Jong thinks. Frankie de Jong's been sold and he joins Manchester City. I'm not surprised. Man United modded. Okay, I think for this season, we're going to keep it as is. You might be thinking, why aren't you going for Rafinha? That's a big rumor as well. But I really think he's going to join Chelsea. So I feel like this is an outside rumor. It's not as concrete as, say, Lewandowski, who's clearly said he wants to go to only Barca or Christensen or Kessie whose deals are done. So, yeah, I'm probably going to maybe sign Rafinha if there's a season two. For now, we'll keep the squad as is. That's our team and let's see how things go. All right, guys, we're at the end of the season. Let's see how our realistic rebuild of Barcelona has fared. Good news, we're not getting relegated at least. We're in the top half of the table. We're in the top six. We're in the top four. Top three. Real Madrid the third. Could we win the league? Let's see. Oh, come on. Atletico Madrid. They've just got the juice in career mode, you know. Honestly, EA have got a deal with Atletico. That's why they always end up winning the league in these sims. Uh, same amount of points as us, but they just got a better head-to-head -head record. And that's why we lost La Liga. We lost the Super Cup as well. They, 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 this is not going well for us. Spanish Cup. Yo, we won a trophy. Come on. We won a trophy against Alaves. That's one trophy. Now, let's go. Yo, we actually did pretty well in the Champions League, at least in the group. We topped it with 13 points. Round of 16, we got through Inter. Quarterfinals, we knocked out Real Madrid. Yo, 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 yo. Just by signing Kessi, Christiansen, and Lewandowski, we've made it to the semi-finals of the Champions League. We get through Liverpool, and we're in a final against Chelsea. We could complete this realistic rebuild in one season. In one season. How has this happened? Let's see the overalls of my players. Araujo, 86. Christiansen, 84. Uh, Jordi Alba is going to be injured for the Champions League final. That is a bit of an L. I'm going to have to play Serginho Dest in that position or something like that. Look at Gavi up to an 81. Pedri killing it. Lewandowski's going down in his overall. Ferran Torres is doing well. We didn't even need Rafinha here. Kessie and Christensen got it done for us. Oh, it's obvious. The difference Robert Lewandowski makes. Look at that. Look at that. If Barca can pull off this signing in real life, oh my god. 38 goals for him. Pedri top assisted as well. I think this is what I'm going to do, boys, for the Champions League final. Have Serginho Dest at left back. Take a look at our lineup. Could that be Barcelona's first team next season? Maybe add on to Fati on the left. Probably, guys. Probably. Pedri, Gavi, Kessi. I love that midfield. No Frankie de Jong. He's in Manchester United. Araujo, Christensen, Dest and Sergi Roberto. If we were doing a season two, I'd probably improve the defense a little bit more. But that's going to be our team. Longley is going to be playing against us. We win this Champions league we complete this rebuild guys in the usual rebuilds we normally play the champions league final after three four seasons our players are insane with growth that's something we're not going to get in this one we have a lot of low rated players so this might be one of the most difficult Champions League finals in the fixing series. But we do have Robert Lewandowski. First chance for him. Bang. It's taken him four minutes to score. He's onside. Robert Lewandowski with the goal. That's what he could potentially add to Barcelona. And it's a bit insane. Insane pass, by the way, from Pedri. He'll love to see that. Scooping it over. Bang. Oh, Timo Werner's gone through. De Stegen, you absolute animal. Love seeing that. By the way, you guys know I don't like De Stegen, but it's pretty evident in real life he's going to stay at Barca for the years to come, so it's kind of realistic to just keep him. I see Ferran Torres making a run. What a ball from Tessi! Oh, he's channeled his inner Sergio Busquets with that, and Ferran Torres slots it home. Chelsea just can't compete right now. That pass from Tessi. Yo, this Barca team is honestly a bit cracked. Ah, it's typical Barcelona. My defense is just non-existent, but Serginho Dest just took him out right there. Oh, that's bad, Timo Werner. 
Still one now looking for a ball back in. Good stuff, Sergio hey. Roberto. That looked threatening and what? Penalty? Yo, they, they, that was in a pen for what? Guys, let's take a look at this. Header. Oh, Araujo kind of tripped him, but that didn't look like a pen to me. That's a bit much. And now Chelsea have a chance to get the equaliser. It's Romelu Lukaku. It shouldn't be at Chelsea. It should be at Inter. But anyways, he's going to be taking this penalty against us. Can Ter Stegen keep this one out? He was too slow. I was too slow to react there. Lukaku scores and Chelsea are right back in this. Oh, Pedri. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Cross in for Ferran Torres and a lovely finish. Just as the second half begins, we get back our two goals advantage over Chelsea. It's 3-1. That was Pedri's goal. That's like magic from him. Look at Pedri over here. Like, he just beats defenders for fun. Whipping in across. Ferran Torres at the back post. Good finish. I think, guys, I want to bring on Ansu Fati for the rest of the game. So that's exactly what we're doing. Yo, this Barca side is honestly OP as Mendy prevents Chelsea from further embarrassment. Why does Pedri look like that? That's just so unrealistic. Just EA, you've got to give Pedri a good game face. Barcelona taking corners long. That's unrealistic. We're not doing that. It's Gavi right now. Chipping in at the back nope. post. And we almost just scored that. Kessi had a chance to get that in. Timo Werner. I'm going sliding in like that. Araujo took him out. He's probably injured. No, he isn't. But my God, was that insane. As I see Ansu Fati on the other side. Yeah, he goes. Good first touch. Ansu Fati now opening up his body. Oh, that's, he did really open up his body. But Lewandowski almost got that one. What a chance it was to make it 4-1. Let's see what Sergio Roberto can do from distance. Um, remind me to not do that ever again. Rhys James looking inside. No, we could concede Sergio Roberto. Saving us there. That could have been a goal back for Chelsea. Oh, sending this one from Ansu Fati. Ball roll. Ah, tried to ball roll the keeper. Oh, I've just gifted the ball for Mason Mount to get a goal there. And he couldn't even do that. There you go, guys. Full time. We've won the Champions League and completed this realistic rebuild with Barcelona. We only made signings that they were linked with. Kind of surprised we did this in one season, to be honest. If you want to see me do this next with, say, Manchester United or someone like Arsenal, drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.